sad is frightful. Dum da dum delightful. <sighs> For the love. Hey, Lincoln 30 to dispatch. 8030, go ahead. Yeah, that's a wild goose chase over here at Nakatomi Plaza. Everything here is okay. Over. But nobody has no place to go. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Dang, God damn it, see you crazy! <laughs> Monica, I can get us a table. Inspector. Wolfgang yeah. and I are Officer very close friends. No problem. I interviewed him for God's sake. I'm in Nakatomi Plaza. They're turning my car into Swiss cheese. I need backup assistance now. Now, God damn it, now. <laughs> I'd love to hear that sound. All of you relax. This is a matter of inconvenient timing. That's all. Police action was inevitable. And as it happens, necessary. So let them fumble about outside and stay calm. This is simply the beginning. I thought I told all of you I want radio silence until oh, further. Be sorry, Hans. I didn't get that message. Maybe you should have put it on a bullet. I wax Tony and Marco and his friend here. I figured you and Carl and Franco might be a little lonely, so I wanted to give you a call. How does he know so much about this? This is very kind of you. I assume you are our mysterious party crash. You are most troublesome for a security guard. <coughs> Sorry, Hans, wrong guess. Would you like to go for double jeopardy where the scores can really change? These are very bad for you. Who are you, then? Just a fly in the ointment, Hans. The monkey in the wrench. A pain in the ass. Ooh. Check on all the others. Don't use the radio. See if he's lying about Marco and find out if anyone else is missing. Mr. Mystery Guest. Yeah, I'm still here. Unless you want to open the front door for me. Uh, no, I'm afraid not. But you have me at a loss. You know my name, but who are you? Just another American who saw too many movies as a child. Another orphan of a bankrupt culture who thinks he's John Wayne, Rambo, Marshall Dillon. I was always kind of partial to Roy Rogers, actually. I really like those sequined shirts. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? Yippee ki motherfucker. I can get the jump on everybody if I get Sam, a remote. I don't have the new pages. Where's the glad Harvey, keep report? your pants on, will you? Sam, look, I'm begging you. Simon's already had a remote thing with that Santa sing along. I'll tell him to swing by or something. I'm not sitting on this. I don't want to hear it. This is my story. I, I can't am hear you. out there. Sam, all right, look, Sam, I tell you what. You don't want to give me a truck? I'll go and I'll steal a truck. Hey, give us a break, Thornburg. Eat it, Harvey. Four, three, two, one. Harvey, we're on the air. Good evening. This is Harvey Johnson. And I'm Gail Wallens, and this is Nightline News at 10. Our top stories on this Christmas Eve, the high tides... Take truck number five. Get out of here. Live.
for a minicam report to Malibu. He wasn't lying about Marco. He's down on the street. And the other man was Heinrich. And his bag is missing. He had the detonator. Here. Leo! Yo! The mayor has some problems. How's your schedule? Three down, four to go. Then don't waste time talking to me. This is Sergeant Al Powell of the Los Angeles Police Department. If the person who radioed for help can hear me on this channel, acknowledge this transmission. I say again. If the person who radioed for help on this channel can hear me, acknowledge this transmission. I read you, pal. You the guy in the car? What's left of him. Can you identify yourself? Not now. Maybe later. Listen fast. This is a party line. The neighbor's got itchy trigger fingers. All right, here's the deal. You got 30 or so hostages on the 30th floor. His name's Hans. We have to find him and shut him up. He's telling them everything. Let him. I'm waiting for the FBI to arrive until then. He can waste as much time as he likes. But we must find the bag, Fritz. Go help, Oli. 